Hi, I'm Chef Joe with Healthy Kids Inc. and today we will be making a grilled pork with blue cheese and arugula salad. There's also some red seedless grapes in there as well. The very first thing I'm going to do today is make a vinaigrette. Uh, now that term might sound a little bit fancy or intimidating to home cooks, but it's simply just a quick salad dressing. And it typically takes oil, a little bit of vinegar, and a little bit of seasoning, and just a little bit of technique. So the very first thing you want to do is squirt just a little bit of oil in the bowl. You know, the exact measurements in the recipe, but I kind of eyeball this to start. Got a little bit of oil. Okay, I've already chopped up um, either some shallot or some green onion. Finely chopped because it's going in the vinaigrette. Then I've also got some fresh thyme, which I've just picked the leaves. I'm going to show you how to do that. You just toss those in like that. You take a strand of your thyme and just kind of peel back and they come right off. It's a little bit time consuming, but this is something maybe you could get the kids' fingers in on. Throw those right in. Okay. Now we also have some balsamic vinegar. Alright, you want to season your vinaigrette. A little bit of salt. A little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. And then we're going to start to drizzle in the rest of our oil a little bit at a time. And whisk it up to emulsify, which is just to bring these two together. So you do it a few drops at a time. You can stop for a second. Keep whisking. Add a few more drops. And this is going to act as our vinaigrette for our salad, as well as our marinade for our pork chops. Just a little bit more oil. And whisk. This is just a quick balsamic vinaigrette with a couple uh, additional ingredients. You could add Dijon mustard or a lot of other things to these to kind of bring the flavors to a different dimension. Alright, so that's good and brought together. If it starts to separate, you can easily just whisk this back up. Or uh, if you want to make it fun for the kids, pile all the ingredients in a jelly jar, close the lid on it good and tight, and have them shake the dickens out of it and that will emulsify for you. And that's a great way to keep them in the fridge for a couple of weeks. So now I want to season my pork chops. So I'm going to set my vinaigrette aside. We've got some boneless pork chops here. We're going to season those with a little bit of salt, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. We'll do the same thing to the other side. And we're just going to pour a little bit of this over the top. You can always make a little bit more if you need it for your dressing later on. Alright, and I'm going to take a spoon, just kind of spoon this around, shrub it in a little bit. We're just going to let these set for just a few minutes and then we'll throw them on the grill at about three to five minutes per side, uh, depending on the doneness that you're looking for. Now we're ready to dress our salad. So we have some nice arugula here in a large mixing bowl. We have our cheese, our red seedless grapes, and our remaining vinaigrette. So you want to give this a quick whisk again just in case it's separated. Just whisk it up a little bit. And then you want to pour that in over your arugula. You want to add in your grapes. And a little bit of your cheese, you want to reserve just a little bit of cheese to sprinkle over at the end. And then the best way to toss these is either with two large spoons or you can do it by hand. You get in there with your fingers and just lightly toss everything to coat. 